you guys i won't lie to you today is the first time i am um, i found myself feeling emotional about my country nigeria by the way hello there welcome back and thank you for clicking if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian and today i am disturbed i won't lie for whatever reasons i have been neglecting the love for my country like it's as if today i came back from the gym i had no intention of filming any video today because because i have other things that i intend to do today but i just went through youtube as always to see what is happening on the streets of youtube videos by other people to know what is happening because see sometimes you think you know everything you don't <laughs> you want to you visit other people's pages and channels and you get to realize that oh wow okay this is actually happening and i'm not aware i think for me especially i have allowed my anger for for the behavior of some nigerians to get the best of me i have never felt anything like for a very long time i stopped feeling love for my country i all i had in my heart was nothing but anger to get it but um after watching these videos today came back and knock and all thanks to these guys from the south south of nigeria <laughs> If other regions are not doing it, we, the Southerners, have to wake up now and save Nigeria because we are at the receiving end. You know what it means to be a Southern and a, a Nigerian from South South? <laughs> you are just like someone whose parents, a child whose parents decide to get a divorce or and you love two of your parents but now that they are getting a divorce it means you are going with only one of your parents and you don't you cannot choose who to go with because you love them both and you want them together now they are fighting seriously and they are about to break and it has gotten to the point where the husband no longer cares and the wife no longer cares she has tried to save she have tried so hard to save her home but it looks like the best way and the easiest way right now is to let go to let it go and everyone move take the pieces of whatever share the property if there are any and move on with their lives and probably think of child custody and in this video in this scenario the custody i mean we the southern and that are from the minority tribes in nigeria which we are all like that small 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 when i say small i'm not talking about small like you know but we are not as big as the Igbos, yoruba Aousas. we are just you know a group of ethnic groups small small groups like that that makes it about six states in nigeria that are in the south south part of nigeria and i want to be thankful for one thing i don't know how we have been cohabiting peacefully with no problem no hate for each other people from the niger data can attest to the fact that if you are from a do state you see someone from Delta as a normal person. If you're from Delta, you see someone from Rivers as a normal person. If you're from Rivers, you see someone in from Bayasa as a normal person. You see someone from Bayasa will see someone from Akwaibom State as a normal same Nigerian, and then you someone from Akwaibom State sees someone from Cross River State as a normal person and as a Nigerian, as equal. I don't know how we have been pulling this off for years that we know they, like, we don't have issues, even with the fact that we have been, we have always been at the receiving end of the affairs of the country, like, like, we don't even belong to get it yet. I don't know how we have been pulling through and finding strength in keeping 
our minds together. And in all of these things that have happened, when you interview a southern and today, they still tell you they want to be Nigerians. They don't belong to any other country. They are Nigerians. You know, like the government, like we always come last because of course, you know, we do not have, what they don't know is that as we are like that without a common language, we are undivided even though we don't actually find a need to come together to say okay let's hold this niger data this let's hold this south south this but there have been this togetherness that i don't know it can only be divine now we have been the one that have seen it all where the oil is from yeah, of the republic of nigeria is from like when i say oil is from i'm talking about 100 percent of the crude oil in nigeria is from the south south part of nigeria and the uh, the level of exploitation in this part of the country and yet a southern and remain unbreakable maybe sometimes you can see a southern and who gets so angry that he or she can decide to never talk about it or talk about nigeria like they don't love her because of what you don't have a voice if we feel like you know in all of this we still want to be nigerians I remain a Nigerian. That is the spirit of the Niger Delta. That is the spirit of a Niger Delta. With all that we go through, with all that we have been enduring, we still want to be Nigerians. There is nothing to it. Of course, it won't be, you know, any big deal if I get a comment at the comment section stating otherwise, but I know my people and I know every Niger death and a true child of the soil that sees this video will know that they can relate majority of them can relate to this feeling that is what have come back to life today in my life because i have been so angry with nigeria because of war like i don't know if you get it where your parents constantly want to destroy each other and you are the child and you don't even know which side to take. You have just, you know, you try your best by being at your best. Maybe there will be peace in the house. No peace. I have been that child that, okay, out of frustration, I don't like my parents. Both of them should get out. Do you understand? But today, these videos that I'm going to play for you guys in this video has just helped, helped me to reassure myself to let it has gone back to hit that spot that i have for my country nigeria because no matter how much i'm angry with her no matter how much i'm angry with her for not for not having time to look after her own with love i love her and today is the day that i realized that because when I stumble on this video on YouTube, I realize that there are still Nigerians that are advocating for the goodness of the country and they are doing this alone. Minister for Power, sir. Chief Adeba, your Adelabu Penkelemes. Honorable Minister, please, sir, share this ministry. This is your ministry. Is it still Ministry of Power, as in Nepal? Ministry for Lights? or it has become ministry for darkness and powerlessness because honorable minister for power sir you contested the election two times to be governor for your state or your that is 2019 and 2023 you did not win but today by god's grace you have been given this is a challenge for you to serve your country and that you go make a difference even if under other people it was bad because honorable minister the long and short of what i'm trying to say is that it won't kill me. It won't finish us. I don't know about other people, but where I get hit before I get meningitis, it won't finish me. There's no lights. Money no day with person no feed by fuel. The small pass my neighbor general person gets it. The engine don't knock. 
transform a small time they go say honorable minister the way we they operate for this country the way we operate nigeria will be our own security with our own nepal will be our own everything transformer go spoil nepal go come they go say now person don't thief cable for for transformer whether ordinary person like me when if he change lamp holder and amigo go thief cable for transformer community go contribute money buy repair transformer yet there will be no light there are some areas they say three months six months some people never see lights i never i don't know this kind of thing anywhere you turn for a community in a par 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 generator noise person one nearly death honorable minister sir this our national greed has it gone beyond human capacity as in now waiting human being no cannot handle again maybe you should let us know maybe that of all time when nepal go do problem not before this heat period see as heat everywhere i don't know about you now but heat won't finish i guess for corner road because the house is too hot we don't go buy pure water cold one where they sell and the only person where they use gen the power down 250 naira so that because my head already they overheat it's overheating please honorable minister don't help me pour water for my head before i quench before i call ah honorable minister i will leave this country for one day ha ah, nigeria so before i say anything um the cost of dollar to naira is 1600 naira which means the hardship will continue increasing because importation costs will automatically increase and you know that almost everything we have in nigeria is being imported now also the likes of spaghetti is now spaghetti is now 950 from 80 naira egg is now 300 naira from 15 naira and butter is one for sardine used to be 300 naira now it's 1020. it's really sad because the other day you see somebody walked on the road a woman carrying a case walking on the road and then she fell down do you understand she fell down she cannot afford food nigeria is in the worst state ever for the very first time in Nigeria, they say they work out for road, they fall because of how bad the economy don't they? The youth, we need to get our priorities straight. To be very honest, we need to get our priorities straight. It don't reach time when we say we go join Labour Congress, and join Labour Congress, go do that protest, to be very honest. It don't reach time because a lot of things are just going wrong. The government needs to come to our aid, at least, even if not that full price they drop. At least, people are using their transport fare. People are using their transport fare you get it they are doing this alone there is no country in this world that is perfect loving your country is beyond coming out on the internet to set up a ring light and sitting right there and using the name of that country to go after people insult everybody yet the affairs of your country your country is going down there is no country that is perfect in the world do you understand most of the times in my videos here yeah, i get angry with nigeria not with nigeria with some nigerians attitude towards life and for the fact that some of us are like that child that was raised in an abusive marriage raised in nigeria where you just can't figure like everywhere is hot you go here your dad don't have your time because he's fighting with your mother you go to your mother your mother don't have time because she is plotting to see how she can get a divorce from your father and let everything go today i'm seeing these videos of southerners coming out to speak and they want to protest and they are calling on other people to join the protest the south south people are convincing everyone mommy daddy come to court let us go and meet the judge or let's go and see a counselor this is like that stage where they have not officially getting a divorce but you know that if they don't do something they are going to get divorced and where are you going that is the mind of every southern they don't speak it's not like they don't know it we have it in our brain and there shall it be forever it's just a few that will risk their lives to speak but you know what we die once and of course on head we live when we are alive and when we are no longer alive we are no longer alive but some of us will drop our voices on here on the face of the head we will drop our voices i'm looking at this video from this intelligent southern only him on the streets uh, i know he's a comedian yeah 
because um i know uh, randy not beyond social media i know him on social media as a comedian and a very funny one at that blessed with high intellectual ability like this guy is highly intelligent and you know he's only intelligent minds that can pull off comedy so this guy has been on this for a very long time because he he stated it clear that when he's doing his comic um whatever you get to see that but when he's doing this safe Niger justice for nigeria you can see this is a southern and wanting to save the country and there are other people who have their own way of showing love to nigeria they come on social media set up their lights attack other people okay let us go outside and speak in one voice tell the president that he's not getting it right maybe he needs that for him to push harder you say you will not go because it's not from your place because your own choice was not like the choice the candidate of your choice didn't w win the election now because of that you are going to let the country to decay you're going to let her completely go <laughs> this is for me is like if we allow nigeria to go down it's just helping people to fulfill their desire later they use it against us hey is you people nigeria youtubers in ghana you're hating you think that some of us are very intelligent it's just that we can't speak because we live in a continent like us like us we live in this world where some people have it's a big topic like i said and i can't speak completely on it but what gives me joy today is that i never knew i still love my country but after watching these videos i just started crying like i started crying i'm not supposed to film today because i wanted to take a break but i just found myself feeling down like really what is happening this some people just they want it broken save nigeria for the first time in a very long while since i returned my sister and the twins to nigeria there have never been a day my sister called to complain because she was in ghana and she sees my responsibility and she does not want to bother me about money except i give it to her freely from my heart so but the last time she called me and said sister i am depressed and i was like why you are living with mama so why are you depressed and you are in the village you're not paying water bill you're not paying light bill you i know you have kids that depends on you but your baby daddy is actively in your lives and is helping with the twins my mom is there everybody my sisters are there for you and I have been there even though not as consistent as I have thought I'll be able to. So why are you depressed? And she said, sister, I went to the market today. I could not buy anything with the money that mama gave me. And I came back and I have been, I have been thinking, I'm afraid. <laughs> so I told her not to be afraid. Thankfully that night I had some money that someone gifted me for my kids. Quickly, I had to like send them some and I told my sister to go back to that market the next market week. Make sure that you get some things and you guys stop selling your farm produce because what happens now, the new strategy is that they gather all they have because it's, it's selling at a high price. They gather it all, go to the market, sell it. By the time they finish selling, they realize that they cannot buy any other they can't buy anything from the market apart from salt so they come back and they are depressed these are people that are, are new to this because originally i come from the part of nigeria that has really no big deal to that no big business with money because my people lives on their own farm produce they survive on it so we sell and use that money to get other things like basic materials for building and all that that has only be our source of so sometimes we don't feel it that much but this time everybody is feeling it and the economy of nigeria to have gotten to the part that is affecting people from interior village villages with no road access because we are niger Deltans. We don't supposed to have um, a good road, but it has been fine. No, we know they complain. We still want to be Nigerians. For people from there to complain, 
it means that things are not all right. And now we are calling on every Nigerian. If you say you've been Nigerian, I know they cry again. Oh. If you are a Nigerian, a true Nigerian, step out there. If you, are in, if you are in Nigeria, step out there and protest. Otherwise, you people should not come on the internet and do this type of videos in the name of Nigeria. You have no right to do it. A lot of Ghana's media, um, Ghanaian YouTubers, both big and small, they were all talking about the agenda of Play Only Ghana and um, how it had come to stay and that is an agenda they've been pushing and it's been successful and um, a lot of them started so advising their people to play only Ghana their media play only Ghana and well that's very okay okay you need to honor people on that however can someone help me ask Nigerian media why are they showing us Ghanaian faces when these same people said that their people should play only Ghana music for goodness sake you need to honor them this is not how things work you can't be pushing their faces on us if they wanted their people to play only Ghana good and fine let them go ahead however can you please replace their faces with other faces you have no right to attack other nations in the name of nigeria do you understand no right to do it you have no right to defend a country you want destroyed some of us have been so angry like you know when you get so angry that like, Anything when will happen, make it happen. But today now, the thing make me cry and it don't go back, go touch my subconscious mind. Like, what is happening? We voted a president. Yeah, we voted a president into power. Let's say some Nigerians voted him. Every Nigerian has right to win elections as long as they can contest, as long as they have been screened and be qualified to run for whatever seat they pick it doesn't matter where you are from you have the right to have won your elections yes i'm not expecting this video not to come with backlash of course why not i know i know i understand but for the good of your country that you so much love like you say you love and it has always been you coming out fighting doing this for the same country and you say you know go go protest to save that country because why the other people go win <sniffs> say you know go go save them we don't see, say the other people say when they are person win they want to enter road they want to protest they are regretting don't people have the right to make a decision and they went you know good you know means saying that because of anything now now you have been proven right yeah you have been proving right those people the person no qualify make will go make will go sing and make them make if he want to go this person should go because even his people are ready for him to get out if he can't do it again what is happening everybody is dragging their feet they don't want to now everybody is not doing imagine in a country where <laughs> you are cooking food and videotaping it to mock the other citizen of your country to tell them that you are living fine they are the ones suffering you still come on the internet you sit down open a camera you insult kenya you insult south africa you insult ghana you insult any country when you meet when your hand can lay on and when we are speaking it when we say anything you people go verse and I go say they don't talk say now will not be the problem. Why is the problem? What is the problem? To me, it looked like say it looked like say now motif made that country kukuma scatter. Now it be that. What is happening? Who is going to save Nigeria? you love my country is not all about coming down to sit down and insult other people 
coming down to attack people because that particular person that made a statement is not from your region is beyond that go to the streets and show your support for your country if you must keep defending her for me by, by the time you people stop all this your nonsense i will go back to the original style of content i was doing traveling around ghana because there are places i'm yet to visit this channel you see this channel nothing anybody can do i'm still going to be doing every content about ghana i don't mind even if i go to film a beautiful a beautiful place in ghana and post it and you people will come and attack me i will ignore it i will continue to do what i'm doing but you see when you don't go out there to save nigeria but you're coming to attack other people for nigeria on the internet you know say na problem we they find be that we are looking for problem and some of us we know sabi fear and you you know get right to take my life because i was created by god that created you <laughs> As a Niger death and no matter what they do to you, you can only be angry. Like sometimes you get angry and just, you know, for those of us that can keep things together, want to act. Then for those that can keep things in their hearts, they will just pretend that all is well. I wish I'm the other people that can pretend. I don't know who is going to save Nigeria, but Nigeria is going. Someone left me a comment that draws everything back on my last video and on one of the videos i posted the person talked about the plan from different region of the country to tear the country apart and who is going to suffer it niger Deltans, because we the nigerians and i do not expect all the niger Deltans to agree with me because what am i even as i dokumbo they don't agree with him but we are Nigerians to Brits and we will pray for her. Do you understand? Save Nigeria today if you are a Nigerian. If you must keep insulting other people for her, for her sake, save her today. God bless you all for watching this video. I will see you in another one. Bye.